I made it through about 15 minutes of Moo's scam alert video. This woman is an idiot. Uh, Chastity's, I think, barely touching the tip of the iceberg when she says that the woman has neurological disorders. Um, You guys should also be aware of the fact that Maureen had an affair with uh, her BFF's husband at the time. Um, Then she and Melina became friends. And, I mean, what a twisted woman. Totally, completely twisted. So she's talking about her grandparents being scammed about some bail money. So this fraud has been around for years, so much so and so frequently that AARP, which is the most powerful lobby in the world for seniors, has an article about it on their website. So please go Google bail scam fraud, comma, AARP, and you can read the article. I'll try and provide the link uh, in here somehow. So uh, she's talking about, oh, it's the trolls, but I don't know, but it's sophisticated. I I, I don't know. I I guess, uh, you know, a 20 piece puzzle would be sophisticated to someone with neurological disorders because like I said, there, this has been around for a really long time and it's actually pretty simple. You call a random number and somehow they get seniors numbers, which that shouldn't be too hard to do because uh, there's actually companies out there like Sales Genie that will provide leads and you just tell them the demographic that you want. So it's actually pretty easy to get a hold of a certain demographic's phone numbers. And a lot of old people still have landlines. So it's completely logical that they often get targeted for most scams. Although I must say, the poots give them a good run for their money. And maybe that's uh, Maureen's uh, big objection is, is that that's money that she could be grifting for herself, for her non-existent reporter Uh, tour across America. So she starts blaming trolls, which we have to assume that she means people on Fogbo and people on Twitter, because of course, anyone that doesn't agree with these uh, low IQ morons that think they're standing up for liberty when all they're doing is standing up for lawlessness, of course, you're a troll, you're a government agent, um, let's see, you're an attorney for the prosecution. So, I mean, I don't know anyone who throws out more uh, libel or slander or defamation than these idiot sticks. And then as soon as someone says something truthful about them, well, they get their panties all in a bunch, don't they? Because they're just a bunch of big crybabies. Come on, Moo. We know you started that fire up at the uh, the, uh, uh, memorial in Oregon. We know you did. You're a smoker. So, at any rate... uh, Disregard this woman. She does have neurological disorders. Chastity Bendelli uh, was the one that married Moo when she came to Las Vegas. So I'm guessing they probably, you know, shared a lot of a lot of information about each other. Uh, Moo doesn't think that her medical disability is anyone's business. Well, well, let me tell you something, Moo. Guess who pays for your lifelong medical disability payments? That would be us. The American taxpayers. So yeah, while technically we may not be able to sit there and read your medical charts, it's our business because we're paying for you to go around and scam people. We don't do it voluntarily. We're just kind of uh, hijacked by the system, but that's okay. We'll be reporting your activities and seeing if we can get a review of your medical disability. So you just keep yourself right out there because you're providing us lots and lots of material to submit to the, to the Veterans Administration for a review of your uh, medical disability. So word of caution, be careful who you trust, who you listen to. Uh, remember uh, Maureen was also involved with the OMD documents that came out And I have an entire file of screen captures of exactly what little activities Mo was doing behind the scenes. She's not as innocent as she portrays. So beware, you have another operative amongst you, you little faux patriots.